we are somewhere in Korea, I don't know where, because we are traveling to the other city, which I don't know the name of, Gwangju. We are traveling to Gwangju, and we are currently in the middle of the... Oh shit, we are living without Luca, no? Oh no, it's the other car moving. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it really felt like I'm moving for some reason, I don't know why. Well, anyway, we are traveling to Guangzhou and uh, we are like in the in the middle of the of the journey and we have a stop for two hours to eat... Okay. No, we have a stop for 20 minutes to eat something and then go toilet and then drink a little bit and then now I, I see Luca running to the bus because we are living in about 10 seconds, so it's all going great, guys. We are prepared, hopefully, for IG. I mean, normally we wake up around 11 or 12, but today we had to w wake up around 9 or 9 something. Luca was late, so he woke up like 9.30 a.m. Everyone seatbelt, please, okay? Seatbelt? Okay. Seatbelt. Well, anyway, it's really dangerous. Yeah, we don't do anything special. We just sleep, listen to music. We have Wi-Fi in the bus, so we just huh? enjoy life. The stage looks cool. I mean, it looks same as in Busan, but it's cooler because it's same final. And I think there's more people. Maybe. I mean, it depends how many people bought the ticket, but looks good. Wonder is on my settings, and he's struggling now. <laughs> oh my god, I can't play with this wall sensitivity. Why? You can't. Because no, because I can't I think flash on them. Old before you. Um, yeah, exactly. I can't. Think. No, our no. flash. You can our flash. I am. I am. Like, Oh, that's this is why you you yeah, missed yeah, 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 yeah. How can I play no, like this? I mean, I I don't miss that many you of, miss a lot of words them. on stage. Come on, like on stage, I never miss it. Yeah, but I think you should but reconsider your settings. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for next season probably. For next season probably I need to fix higher, my settings. Higher, yeah. higher DPM. Yeah, higher DPM and, and higher lighter, resolution. Right? Maybe, yeah. yeah. They're working on it. Well, I mean, the solution sure, maybe not, but I think your DPM is so Actually, fucking this is leader. why you are so bad on Rakan, like, I just realized. What that. do you mean? How, how can you say that? Because I'm bad on Rakan. What you know? do you mean? I never fuck. Uh, uh, my Rakan is so good. You, have heard? you guys are doing amazingly. I, I am can you stop? Stop, please. Stop, 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 stop. Pause, 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 pause. Hey guys, every time we had a kind of speech, we lost. What about we don't match it? Actually, true. We just, we just tell joking. him. We, we, we just cancel right now. No, no. Yeah. We just tell him thank you. We appreciate it very yeah. much. <laughs> and then we, we watch it later. Yeah, yeah. we watch it later yeah. after we win. Yeah, it's a good one. Now we will only lose one Sorry, game. Sorry, Carlos. We will only lose one game because we only watch it yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We cannot watch it. Yeah. Uh, so 10 seconds. We lost the first two games, guys. Come on, we have all sucks. We have all. We have. No, no. Just tell him that. I'm writing. We are really thank you. No, actually, scraps. Scraps, you can just watch it and you can just tell thank you. I really appreciate your point about. Whatever he said Good about. drafts. <laughs> yeah. They all really liked, liked it. Thumbs up. Oh. Thumbs up emoji or something. And just to prevent unlucky. Yeah. Really. Because just to prevent unlucky. <laughs> don't touch Go my up here. Hey, don't put this in. Don't put this in. Like, you should not put this in. Yeah, 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 sure. No. 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 I really don't want Aga. I really want a good salary next time. From my point of view, I'm done. You guys can go eat before the cage recloses again. Because they want to go. What if I just go? Yeah, I know.
Now looking at pre-tournament expectations, there's no sugarcoating it. G2 had the worst year in the org's history before this historic world's run. And when we saw the new lineup as EU casters, we were like, this is not going to be the same success. These guys are not going to dominate in Europe like the old lineup. We just never expected this to happen and to actually peak now. Oh boy, Perks does not have his World Ender ready to go anymore. Flash also not going to be available. Thing goes in, drops down the Cataclysm. Perks going to be stunned out there. The Jace comes in. Rookie's able to find himself some damage in first blood. Goes over to IG. Ace gets the one who jumped on. And now Jarn is going to be in some trouble. Gets himself dunked in the back line. Goes Ding. Goes into the stasis right now. Jackie Ruff grabbed the first kill. As IG will push even further in, they do lose Ning, but they're still continuing to look to make those plays. Perks is in World Ender, gonna go into Resurrection. Wonder trying to find the damage on the Demonic Ascension, but he won't be able to get really anyone. Malon of the Wall could be in some trouble. Instead, it's gonna be a killing spree for Jackie Love. And IG win yet another fight. looking for Blank. But they're trying to make some sort of a final stand here as G2 have to find their fight. Perks gonna be taken very low. Ning already grabbed the kill down onto Yarnan in the back line. Malon grabs the kill onto Within here too. Wonder trying to stand and make some sort of a defense, but everyone else has already gone. A double kill over to Ming, and IG gets the clean ace, and they'll take the whole base. Game one goes to Invictus Gaming. And what? Nice job, but they are really good at snowballing, yeah. and they're good at abusing the fact that they are stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also we fucked up mid-fight, and we play, like, fucked up other stuff. That's why the game is just sleeping out of the yeah. hand. And if you win, then Jace, they have shown they don't want to pick Arela early anyways with Kali. That way they don't have the easy access to um, the pressure and, and both. Uh, mid I mean, it's Jason to the uh, Aethos. And it's what we can pick Jason to the uh, I mean, to, uh, if we find Jason, then they could easily just pick the Kali uh, earlier, earlier. What did they do with Botlane? They can play Rise or something. Right, well, so but, okay, Botlane, they have Rome, have Lucian, and they are pushing. And mid lane, they are pushing because yeah. they have Jason, and, ja and Jarvan can do whatever he wants because they have too many claims Botlane. So even if they don't have Jason, they can pick. Peak and mid peak that will allow them to be right. So I, think, I think we should yeah, yeah, think more about first of all. Okay, so probably they, they can look for first pick Alista, but we just go for uh, snowballing Oli. Yeah, we just play look for play, uh, snowball Oli. Yeah, we, we just look for play for Oli, and then if they don't pick Alista, we don't pick support. We have Tom Kenshin. They ban Victor. That's fine. Maybe they'll pick same one. I mean, they won and, and they stomped, so I think they will not change much, yeah. They so heavily commit to their playstyle. Only 25% of this team's kills come in team fights. The lowest team fight kill percentage of every team in the group stage and beyond. So it really has been about these small skirmishes around the map, usually started by their solo laners, that have proven successful for this team. Going in on the rookie here, but Talia is there. The seismic shot makes it happen at first blood. Oh, he lands! They came in to deny things. The shy flattening himself backwards. Still gonna it's be kept alive for now. Nick's making his way in. It's gonna be seismic shot. It's damage coming down, but it's only gonna be a kill over to G2 for now. Yangle's having a flash away, trying to keep himself alive. Jane's not gonna do it. Nick can't find the follow up, and that's G2 making it one for one overall. While bottom side, 2v2 breaks out. Balon's taken very, very low with Diz. Looking to find a couple more auto attacks. Needs that stun with that tongue, and there you go with Diz. Takes him down. Controlling the jungle, and Yangle's oh, here. Yangle. Playing. There's the cast. That's what he's been looking for all game, and the dividends are going to be huge for G2. They've already found themselves too, but now can they get away? Oh. The Shy's come in, the cavalry has arrived, the accelerated shock class finds its way on the two, but they won't be able to grab any kills just yet. Rookie goes over the wall. Oh my god! Now put it over onto with it as the Shy grabs the kill, and it works here as well. IG has managed to grab themselves too. Belon goes in for the save and keeps Rookie alive from the. That's sh one auto attack! He said it's two! No. That's two hits! Man, two hits! Third hit gonna come in now as Jackie Love makes sure that Perks finds himself a black and white screen as he watches his Nexus fall. IG will take us to game point, but they're gonna pad the stats here a little bit first. The Shy tries to get away. He'll finally be shut down. IG decides that's enough. Fooling around, let's go for the Nexus now. Burning it down. One, two, three, couple more hits will do it. G2 looking to make that last stand, but the minions say no. And that's 2-0 in Victus Gaming. And no one will leave this game not knowing the name, The Shy. He has made his star on the world stage and cemented it. Again. Good
I, mean, I, can just, I, I want to just play the blank for earlier. I want, I want to play maybe the blank, but then if I play a blank, you'll play Sandra. And they will do the same. I mean, we, if we are that side, we can just pick a blank and ban for it, no? Yeah. So that's but they picked it this time. We the fuck up, they didn't want yeah. to. Yeah, and they will up and maybe they'll do it again. Possibly. So what do you go to the blanket? Yes, I should be the center. But then, then, then we should go for our AD jungle. Yeah, but what if we go for the rice or for the jungle? If we don't go for the rice, we can touch the rice and pick the missions out. Yeah, even that is risky, I think. Okay. It was just hard because we wanted to like p punish both, but then we go mid and then they get a free base off, you know? And then they get yeah, their yeah. tier and sheen and uh, like... I mean, we didn't play around it, so... Yeah, I just... Hoppers getting fucked in front and Hoppers not going to both. We go both twice, we killed both times. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should just look for bot tower or like uh, die the bot. That's like... But he's whatever now, so... Yeah, I mean, we, we can look for... Uh, yeah, I mean, I can pick a lot of shit with it. I can even, like, if you wanna go for a, like, a really YOLO comp, I can even go brand, you know? I, I don't care. If they go Alistar into, uh, into it, like, if they have Alistar, we will get Han. You know, if we pick the second phase, Alistar cannot do anything. It's gonna be the same. He's gonna, like, combine on me or on Vadir. But, but this time, he's just that instantly, because he gets a stun by, by me, by brand, and then he's just eaten, you know? Maybe we should look for it, just like we have some options, we don't have to pick anyone. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I mean, this case, we just wanted to try it, because we get so much pressure with it, right? And usually, like when we play around it, we get both turret and then we stumble the game, right? But in this case, we didn't do it, so it was just like it looked like I was just farming, right? Like I, I, the only thing I could do was, was farming. And if G2 soul lanes don't win, they don't have much left. Right. And what's happened in both these games is IG has smashed mid lane, they smashed top lane, and they're smashing the series. But Ning Faze check this, he's gonna be in some trouble over the wall. Comes he feels his ward! The lockdown of the damage is there, it's first blood for G2. They're in the bottom lane to make sure they're ahead of the Shelly push here at mid. Merc's gonna be taken down to about half, Rookie can say the same. Daniel trying to buy some time, but now it's with Din coming in from behind. Ning grabs the kill down on the first, it's gonna be one for zero for IG so far. With Din still gonna be tanking up, but now the Vanguard's edge has been deployed. Wonder's coming in for the counterattack, and he cleans up Rookie as the Hextech ultimatum steals Jackie Love's fate, and G2 wins another fight. Ning's able to find the follow-up with a nice kick back, and that shutdown better over to Jackie Love. G2 not quite find themselves the turret just yet. Yarn is barely gonna get himself away from Glacial Fissure. The claw from Perks to take the escape, and what did will be the sacrifice as G2 lose to. It's open nexus. IG is saying this game, this series, ends right here. Perks getting himself back. What did's on the front line. Boy Seeker fired off G2. Uh -oh. Before we, we talk go. about that, let's do goodbye <laughs> hug, guys. Because I need to go now. No, oh, that's why. Oh, I'm just saying. Just if you want the hug, I can do it. Yeah. Hug. A good game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 See <you> next year. <laughs> <laughs> why you say good game? Good See you next year. Yeah. Make sure to engage my brown body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure to flash all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just flash it. I mean, now it's done. There is no hard feeling. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good enough. Okay, so patch. Sucks, but it's not the first time I lost something in my life. More food. Not the last time. I think that since we started playing, um, they prepared against us and they knew what they wanted. To, that they wanted to play against us, and I felt like that's why we couldn't really get a lot of pressure in the first game. And then I think in the second game we misplayed more than they played well, but also they still had an advantage on the top side. And then third game they just had cold blood and we just uh, throw the lead that we got in the early game, at least a little bit of it. We had really bad calls from everyone and it was just tough to close out the game. So I think overall they outperformed us and we, we are our worst team for sure. Um, so they deserve to, to, to be in the finals better, but I'm still a, a little bit happy that we made it so far. So a whole year has been really, really tough for me. I think that 
a lot of times like my mental composure was kind of breaking down because of just how, how big of a shift it was and how much worse we were compared to last year. So in my whole like life, I mean my whole not life, my whole this year, I have been just comparing us to last year basically and myself as well. And many times I got like lost in us not being able to progress as much. But in general, it's looking back at it, it's been a great year for me, like personally. It's been the best year I could actually imagine for. So I feel like uh, the experience I gained this year is like even way more than what I got last year. Obviously, Worlds this year has gone really well for both EU and us. I mean, we came as a, in as a third seed and us ending up top four in the tournament overall is like really insanely good, uh, considering like the rough year we've had uh, in domestically in our region. Uh, it's uh, like a really big achievement and a lot of people that are legends or like really high, have, have some really high status in, in the game didn't even make it this far, you know? So it's always already a good benchmark for someone, even though I'm in, coming into my like third year now or something like that. Uh, I'm still not the oldest player and I'm still not the most achieved player in the world. So I, I can, of course, be really happy with <clears throat> where I am in my career and like moving forward as well, getting to semifinals at once. Right now I just feel like I wanna be able to just go home and relax for at least two, three weeks and then Maybe during like my time home, I will for sure miss the time that we were able to like create here and like what we went through as a team. And the competition, I will always, I don't know, you, I will always like miss it in the end, right? Like it's hard to say now because right now I'm just like really, really burned out and tired. But in one month, I will for sure like be ready and want to play LCS again, you know, and be hungry for it.